Hello all, this video is continuation of our previous video where we used NPK with Raspberry Pi Pico. Here we will be adding OLED and uh, using MicroPython code. This Raspberry Pi Pico has got two power pins that is pin 40 is V bus pin where we can add a battery after uploading code and uh, pin 39 is VSYS and this is used as a power pin 2 RS485 to TTL this RS485 to TTL is auto direction type we are using which has got RX and TX RX is connected to RX which is GP1 pin 2 TX is connected to TX GP0 pin 1 direct connection not reverse and A and B pins are RS485 which is connected to blue and yellow wires of NPK which is mod bus communication and uh, the NPK sensor is uh, plugged into the uh, target soil. The soil should be slightly wet for uh, perfect uh, readings. This is the exact connection details where we have added OLED. OLED has got four pins, uh, power 3.3 volt and ground and then SDA SCL as it is I2C device. Power is taken from pin 36 which is 3.3 volt out of uh, Raspberry Pi Pico. Pin 36 is connected to VCC of OLED. SCL of OLED is to GPU 5 which is pin 7 and SDA of OLED to GPU 4 which is pin 6. Now let us connect the USB to PC and then open the Tony Python ID. There is the micro Python code where we import machine and then time libraries and then SSD 1306 library to be installed. For this go to tools and then manage packages search for ssd 1306 which is the ic of oled so ssd 1306 you search for it and select the correct library and then click on install after installing the library close it so this library will be stored inside the micro python flash memory now uh, from within the code we have to uh, initialize the uart object by uh, using baud rate 9600 and then the uh, TX pin is 0 and the RX pin is 1. Hmm. This is the pin 1 and 2 which is uh, TX RX of uh, Raspberry Pi Pico. We initialize the uh, UART object and then we declare the uh, SDA pin and SCL pin. Here SDA pin is uh, GPU, uh, GPU 4 and the SCL pin is GPU 5. So we declare that pin and then uh, declare the OLED width and height and initialize the OLED I2C object using the SDA pin and the SCL pin. And then we define the modbus function to send the query. The hex data is written to UART using UART.write function and this is the custom query uh, byte array that is 0x01 is the address of the NPK, 0x03 is read holding register command and then 2 bytes 0001e is the starting address to read from and 0003 is the number of registers to, to read and the final 2 bytes are for CRC16 error code checking and then the while to repeat function that we send to mode bus the uh, query hex data and then read the uh, resulting data, NPK data response and finally we display it on the OLED by selecting the location or uh, where to display NP and K values. OLED.show function is very important to display the data and then we store it in the, in the Raspberry Pi Pico using the name main.py, no other name is allowed, store it as main.py, already that SSD 1306 library is stored in the there. Now, Click on the green button to run. Now the code is running. Uh, now let us check the uh, physical data on OLED where NPK values are displayed. As per code, NPK values are uh, displayed. Now let us uh, remove the NPK sensor from the soil and then uh, verify the data. It is uh, you can see the dropping, uh, the values are dropping down. Now plug in back the NPK sensor to soil, it will go back to normal. So the cooling time is uh, around uh, one minute. 
to stabilize. This is the NPK values uh, displayed on OLED. Now let us uh, use a battery for a standalone operation. So the pin number 40 can, which is VBUS can be used as VIN. Let us connect 3.7 volt uh, single battery with holder. The positive uh, wire is connected to pin 40 and ground to ground. Now you can remove the uh, USB connection. Already the code has been uploaded, code is running now. Now this setup can be used as a standalone in, in the field. You can carry this to the field and uh, you can use it in standalone mode. You remove the NPK sensor from the soil. Now we can see the data being dropped down. Again plug in, the data normalizes NPK values. This is how to read NPK values of the soil using Raspberry Pi Pico and the MicroPython code. Thank you for watching.